well, a lot of people know. Some people don't know, which is exciting. Some people go, oh, you do calligraphy too? But I started out as a calligrapher. And I've also been collecting small weird things forever. And usually I just put the small weird things on a little ledge and just put them together. Um, then one time I had some friends, two women who were trying to have a baby. And I asked them, any luck? And they said, oh, you know, you can only spend so much money on sperm. So I thought, oh, those words are so great. I want to put those with some image. I, I happen to have a bunch of old photographs. So I had mixed in that photograph and the words, and it was mostly just calligraphy and photo. Then I started putting objects in some of my calligraphy. And then I started having more objects and less calligraphy. And I still combine the two. Um, I've done some album covers where I actually combine all the writing with an image and some cards. But now I just find the things and if they need writing, I put writing in it. But now they just sort of, the things come to me, often just in the middle of the street. You can tell a lot of these I wouldn't be paying money for. But um, they come to me and they tell me what they want to do. So I don't have too much intention when I start these pieces. It's totally, totally just whatever I happen to have. And I take the pieces and sometimes there's a few pieces that just sort of fall together. It's like, oh, these guys kind of look good. Um, and I'll take other pieces and I might find, my basement is just full of all, of, I mean, just full of everything. I've got huge tables covered with round things and then pointy things over here and then paper things over here. And I'll just say, oh, can this go here? And it's really, it's, it's totally up to the pieces. Like I am only here to fulfill what the pieces want to do. You know, I'm just a laborer. So it's like, mm, nope, yep. And they just start going. So what I find amazing is, well, some pieces, like I said, come together really pretty quickly. And it's like, wow, I have everything that's right there. And then some of them, um, I'll know I need something and I can go months without finding it. Sometimes I have to, like some of the game boards here, um, one of them, the all fair game, I'm not sure where it is, was a Monopoly board, and that just didn't want to be used. It didn't want to be used, but I finally started painting it, and then I cut it up. So, no, I have no idea what I'm going to do until I actually do it. Most of these, it's pretty clear. You know, it's, again, it sort of just feels done. I've, I've had more problems with my calligraphy pieces knowing when they're done, um, especially when they're more abstract. But these, it's kind of like, well, there you go. It just tells me. Just like it tells me what to start with, it tells me how it's ending too. Well, the scale has really, really changed. You know, those first pieces were all about this big. And they'd have little things in them. They were very intimate. They were kind of dark, darkly funny, I like to say, because they were a lot about people hiding, which I didn't know right away until I saw them all together. I was like, oh, somebody's, somebody's holding a lot in. So they were, but they were small. And dark and then they got a little bit bigger and these are the biggest literally strongest heaviest pieces I've had some of these are really really heavy um, we'd hate I mean we'll send these anywhere but they're really heavy and I keep finding bigger pieces I have like large pieces of cars in my studio um, but I think I'd have to learn to weld and I don't know how to weld so right now most of these if it's possible, I like to wire them together. Epoxy is my friend, but I, you know I, that that always gets a little nervous because glue can break. So I like to wire things, but it gets harder to wire really big, heavy objects. Well, we have been finding if we go to small towns and just walk around, there are areas that tend to have stuff. Um, I do go to some stores that have it, but that's always hit and miss. Um, you know, going around railroad tracks are really handy. Um, this particular piece here, um, this round piece, I was out on Scott Boulevard and I stopped by the train tracks because there was a whole pile of metal stuff there. In fact, there's another one of the pieces has a, long, a lot of long, I think they're concrete holders. But I saw this bottom of a barrel and I, at first I thought, oh, I gotta carry that home on my bike, it's too big, I'm not gonna use it. Um, but I thought, well, I should, I should bring it. And I brought it home, and this was one of the ones that, I mean, a lot of these pieces I've had for quite a while, um, but this one fell together. Once that round thing came here, everything just found its place. 
which was great. But getting a frame to actually go around this was really challenging. Nick couldn't find one in the gallery or any of his suppliers, so we actually had this built, Nancy Romanov built this frame just for this piece.